Man United 2, Tottenham 2, a draw at Old Trafford. I'm joined by Andy Tate. You were at the game. What did you make of it? Uh, two teams who had a little bit about them both, but you could see with a bit more effort and a bit more energy, I think it, any team could have won that. But mm. I think a draw was a fair result. We were predictable. They were predictable. And we had a cracking start after four minutes. Great goal from Ram Ramos. And... Um, like you say, when we scored, and uh, it's just like we invite, we we didn't we didn't press on, mm. and it, and and it's the same again. Even when 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 we equal that, when they equalised, we pressed on again, and then we sat back again, and they equalised, and it and that was it. Just two teams cancelling each other out for the game. But Rashford was good first half. He got done for a speeding ticket. Second half, he got his parking ticket. Mm. <laughs> so I've seen that this week, but. Uh, yeah, there was nothing there after we've scored on each occasion. And even second half, like you say, them two goals are avoidable again. Keeper plays out from the back, doesn't reach the player. Corner comes in, Freda. Mm. Equaliser for Tottenham. Dullo, run past me. Run past me. Go on, you can do it. You know what I mean? So, it's one of those. Uh, for chances far between, there's only a few. And I say, we hit the, they hit the post for us. Scott McTominay, two yards out, Stratford end, 94th minute. Really disappointing. And I think the draw's a fair result. I'm not, I'm not angry. I'm just, like I say, it's predictable United. Mm. Does it bother you that, you know, I think a lot of people on social media, and maybe p particularly people who weren't at the game, like myself, you watch that and you think, Tottenham have just controlled this game. In the stadium, did it feel dangerous? Yeah. Did it feel yeah. nervous? Did, does that bother you that teams are coming to Old Trafford and controlling games, even though obviously the Sutton result... Sutton dictated did, did it. it. Yeah. Sutton, as soon as they equalised, they dictated at their pace, their rules. We're controlling this game. And United didn't have a clue. Mm. So, let's say, I thought Garnacho was very quiet. Bruno, very quiet. Mm. So, uh, Rashford, he had a lively first half. Second half, quiet. Hoyland, okay, first half, quiet. And let's say Martinez coming back, that was the biggest roar in the stadium. Yeah. Look, glad to see him back. Ericsson, quiet, and it's like, it's like, the, I don't want to sound like this, but it's like the excuses are already out and it, oh, we're tired, and I'm, you know what I mean? You, you've had six days to prepare for this. I mm. say one game a week, prepare, work hard, and there was no energy, no fizz there. It's like a, like a two day old Pepsi Max. You leave it out and it's flat. Mm. Jay will relate to that, you know, with his cherry addiction. You know what I mean? Second half in particular was weird. When we came out, those first five minutes of the second half where they got their second goal, United looked like we were playing at half speed at times. And it's not the first time this season we've seen that. The same thing happened against Man City. They scored, what, three minutes into the second half in that game. Do you think that's a trend? Do you think that's just a coincidence? Why do you think we're coming out of second half or coming out of half time? looking lethargic and sluggish. What's going on? I think, think? it is a trend because it's like, look at the, look at the trends as like the mistakes, mm. the mistakes of previous games, not tracking back, not picking up your players like it was against Nottingham Forest, two clear goals, preventable. Same again today as well, predictable, preventable. And the, it's like they're not learning and it's like, fizz, run. You know, there's no fizz in it. Just run, work hard. Like mm. we seen that against Aston Villa. The agent said, do you know what I mean? The crowd were giving everything to get behind him and they're just not giving it. Yeah. And it, like I said, Unana second half, five players there, he's got the ball. Five players, the crowd is screaming for it, pass the ball. Uh, I don't know what to do. You've got five red shirts there in front of you mm. and you play it to the left of you. He's more concerned about uh, you know, going to the AFCON. He should have he already been at the AFCON. Not, he, he's scared of losing his place. Mm. He should have been uh, like Mo Salah and the, all the other crew. They've, they've already gone and he, they've had a week to prepare. He's flying out Monday. He's going to be knackered by Tuesday. And the only, the only hope we could say, Cameroon go all the way in their respective competition. And he gets, a, he gets some confidence from it. He's mm. scared about losing his place. That's on him. His mistakes, his problems. And he's scared. And I, I say, the, maybe the other keeper should have been out today. Maybe, you know. By India. Yeah, or the Luton lad, former Luton lad. I thought was, he should have been out here as well, but now he's got a month away. We've got a few games, and he will be shitting it, but that's his problem. So, like I say, I still, I still like him. I still love him, but say, these players don't take accountability. He should have been on a plane. 
That goal was preventable yeah. today. And like you say, Tottenham, they had a little bit more fizz about them. But they, like you say, we had Timo Werner in there. They could have um, some caused us some serious prob problems today, but it, it didn't. It was a weird game, wasn't it? Because <sighs> like, we were saying this on our review, Tottenham had all the ball. They had more shots than us, but not loads. They had, you know... More corners. More corners. Yeah, well, the, the, I want to get to the corners carnish. in a minute. But, and yet, United came out of that game. We had the last chance with the, one of the last kicks of the game. Scott McTominay, six yards out. If that goes in, we've won, and everything feels different. What? what it's, a, it's a strange time to be a United fan, isn't it? Because this performance wasn't a bad one, and yet we're not happy with it. Like, we're not seeing these, like, top, top-level performances. And why do you think that is? <sighs> I really don't know. I mean, it, that, oh, this it, we back the manager. We're playing for the manager. Yeah. Well, second half, it wasn't. It fizzed out. Yeah. Ten Hag has said. Even my dad was telling me back in the car. He said he, he has demanded more from these players, mm. and then they're still not giving it. They he, like he said that in the press conference. Was it last week? These players need to know they have to give everything, and they're still not doing it. Mm. Even when you're on one game a week. Now, it's not angry. I'm just saying it's it's there clear as day. Mm. Run your socks off. Are you, are you already getting your excuses in already? We're tired. If, if I heard the word tired tonight in any of the media from any United players, I'm, I'm sorry, man. It's it's not on. No. It's not. One game a week, play your football, just do your bit for the club and do it for the fans. That's it. Not having tiredness as, a, as an excuse for today. Looking ahead then, we've got two weeks off pretty much now with this sort of little winter break and then we come back with the game against either Eastleigh or Newport, isn't it, in the FA Cup. No Premier League game for nearly three weeks. I think it's the 3rd or 2nd of February, the next yeah, Premier League game. Yeah, um, I think it's Wolves, isn't it, something yeah. like that. Um, what do you want to see between now and then? So presumably we'll have a fully fit Martinez, a fully fit Casemiro. Luke Shaw looked like he was going to be fit until this morning, according to Ten Hag, so we'll have a fully fit uh, Luke Shaw. We'll hopefully have Mason Mount back. This sort of final part of the season that we're heading into now, the second half fully of the season, what do we need to see that we haven't seen so far? Well, first, I want a weekend next week where there's no way United can ruin your weekend, even yeah. when they're not playing. I want no negativity, no bad press, no shit from players. That's a good point. You know, no shit, let's just have a quiet weekend with respect to, with your family. The, the amount enjoy of the... your weekend, not having it yeah. fucking ruined by players or media who just want to cause trouble yeah the amount of like international breaks and stuff we've had ruined with like either a, a player coming out with some sort of interview some kind of falling out in the dressing room some sort of accusation like something going on it was off the a pitch flag. it would be nice it was a it? flag in the strip for them last tonight today at the match Jay would have seen it as well for the love not the likes yeah so this is what this this lot needs to drop now it's for the love not yeah. the likes it's not for the clicks clicking your best mate who's, who's, who's now in Germany and having a good time. They liked that yesterday from Rashford, really like it. Whether it was him himself or his media crew, it's it's just like, it's it started again. Mm. It started, don't need to see it. Mm. Don't need to see it. And I, I just want now, get, getting players back now, you got FA Cup in the next game, whether it's moved to another, another ground is whoever whoever we play is, I've heard that over the weekend as well with Eastleigh on Newport. Concentrate on that. See where the FA Cup goes from that fourth round onwards. B Premiership sides are playing each other. Mm. Big guns could go out and play some football. Mm. And then, like you say, get some players back to our next our next game, I think. Is it is it Wolves away, I think? I think it is Wolves. It's Wolves, certainly it's, it's not February. for two or three weeks. Anyway, yeah, I think so it's a th Thursday night as well, which yeah. is stupid. Yeah, it's a midweek game. It's stupid, like I say. No, no care for the fans. Thursday night football, Jesus Christ. You could have had when I mean, it was scheduled for a Wednesday, but... Play some football. We're playing the teams above us. I mean, that was, as well, that was two points dropped today. Mm. That, let's like say, that was a chance to like close the gap on, let's say, even fifth place is achievable. You know, and, and that's an outside chance of the Champions League. Yeah. But I think now it's even Chelsea have overtaken us now or something, or they're just next to us. They're right on us, yeah. Right on us. So you've two, got two fallen giants there. And um, maybe where we are is where we're going to finish. Really piss poor season. Maybe, may, maybe the cup is. I, I was. I hope the second half of the season. Maybe we just play some games, play some, get some football played, beat some teams, give the fans something to smile about, mm. and win a maybe go on a cup run like we did last season with a Carabao. But what a difference a year makes from today when it beating Man City. That was one year ago. Today, one you were one year ago today we won a won a derby. 
And 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 this today was like no fizz, no. It was all flat. Mm. Two day, two day old Pepsi Max, nothing there, man. You, you see it in little bits. We're just moment FC mm. this season. That'll be it'll be. A, oh, what was your moment of this season? Mm. It was going at you. That was it on the on the doorstep. That was it. Yeah. Uh, Goodison Park. Nothing else. Nothing to give. I just want to see more. And I don't want. I don't want my weekend ruined by. Man United being in the reports mm. for doing nothing and still ruining your weekend next week. But just go forward, play some football and just give us a smile for 2024. But I say, I don't stress about today. I didn't even get angry today. I just went, watch the game. You criticise you, you are. You, you, you cheer for your team and that's it. You, you can't get angry anymore with this team because the, the, the review's going on, ongoing. And who knows what I like say. Maybe it was even going before mm. they even come in, so from Christmas, December onwards, but we just have to see, game by game, no one's up here disappointed, F draws a fair result, and that's only our second draw of the season. Yeah, Right, cheers Andy, thank you for coming on, thank Manchester you. United 2, Tottenham 2, like Andy said, at least next week, let's just hope that there's no negative Manchester, yeah, nothing to worry yeah. about, a week Don't off. Don't ruin our weekend. See you in a bit.